<laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Metal Magdalene with Jet right here on Metal Messiah Radio. Tonight, we have a special guest with us. We have Frederick Larson of the legendary Swedish heavy metal band Hammerfall. Welcome to the show, Frederick. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Hammerfall around for around 23 years now. What were some of the early days of Hammerfall like for you, Frederick, when you were in the band at, like, 19? Uh... I mean, the early days, Hammerfall was pretty much nothing. It was a, a band that uh, entered some rock uh, contest um, at that time, and nobody was playing heavy metal at mm -hmm. that time at all. So uh, we were pretty unique, uh, and uh, I guess everybody laughed at us uh, at some point. We, I mean, we got on stage with uh, studs and leather and uh, everything, oh, the, whole, the whole kit. And uh, that was a time when uh, when grunge were really big, and uh, so yeah, people were laughing at us. But uh, I guess now, uh, Lucas laughing now. I mean, <laughs> twenty three, twenty three years later, mm -hmm. and <laughs> we're, we're still there. And where is grunge now? You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so just a little bit about you. So you, you left the band in 97, then rejoined them when their bassist quit in 2007. So were you happy to be reunited with all your former bandmates? Yeah, I mean, when I left, Hammerfall was nothing. It mm -hmm. was a, a small band. We just recorded an album, and which was great, by the way. It was a really opportunity for me to, to do something uh, that I always dreamt of, being able to record an album. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, but at the same time, I, I, I felt that I couldn't focus 100% on Hammerfall. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to play different music, some, uh, some more aggressive music. And uh, so I, I thought it was best to, to leave my place to someone who could be dedicated to Hammerfall. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, after 10 years, when they asked me again, uh, it felt natural just to, to step in the rehearsal space and uh, try to jam a couple of songs and yeah, it went back to, to the old old school days, so uh, we had a lot of fun and uh, yeah, we connected again. So it was uh, it was great being back. Well, it was kind of nice having you back too after that you know little duration of time there. It was like you belonged there anyways. You know, you went out yeah. and had your fun. Now it's time to come back home. You know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was just away t 10 years, so, uh, no big deal. <laughs> nah, that's nothing nowadays. Okay, look, so the band has such loyal fans over the years, even with the lineup changes and what have you. Sold out shows across the world. What have some of the touring experiences with them been like for you? Uh, when I joined again in 2007, um, Hammerfall was a much, much bigger band, of course. We played big places. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been... It's been an honor, and it's really great to, to be able to do this for a living, uh, touring around and meet great audiences uh, and, and fans and people everywhere. Um, so uh, this is really... Uh, I can't describe it how, how good I feel about my, my job right now. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so today we're here to talk about the new album you have out, Built to Last, on Napalm Records. Now, this is your first album with them, right? Yeah, um, we felt that, I mean, we've been with uh, Nuclear Blast sin, since day one, mm -hmm. uh, but we felt that they, they didn't, uh, they, they did the same thing over and over again. They, it was a routine. Mm -hmm. They didn't want us to grow bigger and they, I mean, we're still, st I think we still have our best record to do. So, I mean, we keep growing and uh, we want to expand and we want to be bigger and we want to play bigger shows. So um, we can't stop and, and be satisfied with uh, just doing the same thing over again, like the last record. So uh, we wanted to try something new and see if someone else can, can make that happen for us. Uh, of course, it's a collaboration. You need to, to do your best always. Um, I mean, the band, and we need to, to, to write good songs and everything. But uh, <clears throat> we also need a label that believe in us, mm -hmm. that we can take it to the next level. So that's why. And, and now, in 2014, when uh, Evolution was released, it was so successful, followed by a great tour. Now, after experiencing 
all that level of success with that album, <laughs> what was it like writing and going back in the studio to record Built to Last? I think it, it felt... Uh, I, I, I don't think we had the pressure, uh, mm -hmm. because we, we took... Uh, 2013, we took the whole year off uh, just to to do whatever we wanted and uh, to gather some strength and, and come back uh, even stronger. Uh, that was the thing that made uh, Revolution so great, I think, because mm -hmm. uh, we all were we were a bit hungry to to show the world that we still exist and and we can still do some great things, um, and that was the big thing for us to prove that we're still here and uh, on this record it felt like okay we did a great job last time now we need to focus and, and be even better uh, but at the same time it, it wasn't it was no pressure because uh, it felt so natural to to do take it to the next level and and, and step up once again into the studio and uh, i think we we believe in our material more now. Uh, after that break, it made us hungry, and uh, we wanted—I mean, we wanted to perform uh, on on edge on the record. So, uh, yeah, it felt natural. So, so tell us a little bit about the album in itself now, Frederick. You know what it's about, what some of the songs are about, what the fans can expect when they hear the rest of it. Um, I look at it like like a twin record to to uh, Revolution, actually. Mm -hmm. um, because it was recorded the same way. Uh, we have Fredrik Nordstrom, the producer, back uh, as on Revolution. And um, the only thing that, that really differs is that we now have a new drummer, mm -hmm. uh, David, instead of uh, Anders. Uh, and that, of course, gave some, uh, some new energy uh, in that section. So, uh, uh, other than that, it's a... It's, uh, it's a similar record, mm -hmm. a bit more. Uh, it's, a, I guess, it's a, a bit faster, mm -hmm. um, and maybe a bit more diverse than the previous ones. But uh, um, it's the same direction. It, it feels like a, a natural evolution for Hamilton. Mm -hmm. And what have some of the early reactions been from from some of your fans with the pre-releases of the few songs that you guys had out? We actually we had a, a small, a really small listening sh session in, in uh, Stockholm, yeah. Sweden, um, with uh, I think it was ten fans that uh, that uh, was in a competition, mm -hmm. and uh, they could bring one friend. So we were about twenty people uh, in a bar, and we closed it down. They had to to give up their cell phones to to not leak anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, I, we had a great time. We had some beer and. and uh, just listen, and uh, it was really fun to see the reactions from, from the crowd. And uh, I think we all got what we expected. Uh, it's a strong record. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I haven't read what they wrote about it after that. But um, I, I, from the looks, uh, I could tell that they, they enjoyed it. Well, I was going to say, you have a couple of songs that were pre-released off the album for, you know, little sneak peeks for everybody to hear. And well, yeah. I've, and I did read this stuff, Frederick. <laughs> 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 and, and it seems your fans absolutely love it. And it's like you said, it's like quintessential Hammerfall, you know. Um, you've yeah. got the new drummer, so very slight difference in vibe but not much it's like you said it just sounds like a little bit more energy in there and it's uh i think your fans are gonna love it because it's hammerfall you know they're the yeah. hammerfall they're used to <laughs> yeah, i think so too i mean hammerfall we have a pretty strict boundaries what what fits in hammerfall and what what doesn't mm -hmm. i mean it's uh, heavy metal uh, as we play it uh of course we all have our different uh, uh, take on it. Uh, we we all have different influences uh, from uh, from a lot of different bands, but uh, in the end, we all bring it to the table, and um, that's what makes Hammerfall. And it and it's a great album. I was listening to it last night as I was kind of preparing for this, and I was like, oh yeah, the fans are gonna love the rest of it. I mean, the two 
pre-release songs were really, really good, but it's, like you said, it's a little diverse. There's a little bit of different stuff going on there for a little something for everybody and all the moods we're in when we're listening to this album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just to, to pick uh, uh, a single, it's, it's, uh, it's really hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, we choose Hammer High was the first single in our mind and the record company we're all in. And then they said, okay, we need uh, a first single, uh, one that we're going to re release uh, even before. Mm -hmm. And we were, okay, <laughs> one more. <laughs> and then we choose uh, The Sacred Vow. Mm -hmm. um, you have to, to pick one song that is not uh, kind of similar to, to the other one. So, uh, so um, yeah, I think they show off uh, a little bit of the spectrum that's on the album. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Absolutely. Now you guys have Hector back on the cover. We love him. <laughs> and one of your USA bundles actually has a Hector figurine. Have you seen yeah. some of the bundles? I mean, do you have any of them? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm still waiting to get them. Uh, I guess they're not ready yet. But uh, uh, it's going to be fun. It's my first uh, Hector statue as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> and there's a lot, I mean, a lot of your bundles are cool stuff. I mean, even your vinyl, when I was looking through everything, it's like red with steel splatter on. I think you guys were like, steel and yeah. blood, you know? It was, it's just so perfect. now. And now, I think think one of the bundles and i don't think it's the usa one has like a booklet that goes with it too and like a dvd or something like that mm -hmm. i yeah. think that's one of your european ones i don't think we could get that here oh too bad <laughs> I but uh, i mean when i was young I, I, I used to i mean i love the the album covers and mm -hmm. uh, and if you had another version of it like a, a fold up a gatefold or whatever uh it's even better so i I'm really love that we get to, to release vinyls again and uh, and in different versions and, and bundles. That's that's great because it's that's what I liked when I was a kid. Me too. And you know, when we were kids, if we ever had a red vinyl, oh my God, we would be like, oh, this is so amazing. And now there's so many different vinyls. Now you guys yeah. even have like a picture disc, I think. There was like a limited copy of a, a picture disc of this album yeah. as well. So there's that's kind of weird, huh? Having yeah. your face spinning around. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I remember in those days, the, the, the colored picture the, the the vinyls were always a bit um uh, they didn't sound as good no no as the regular ones but uh i, I guess nowadays it doesn't really matter because everyone's got the, the music digital anyway so yeah but it's a fun thing to to have it I, is. I really love it. And and I do like that that splatter one too because it's just kind of cool with the steel and it's kind of industrial looking. And you mm. think of Hector up there with all the metal on and the armor and I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, I was really getting into it last night. A little sleepy yeah. this morning, but last night I was really into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I love it. And, and so, so Frederick, we know you got this new album coming out. So what's coming up for the band now? Uh, well, we'll get a big uh, European tour mm -hmm. in mid-January, and uh, and we have a North America tour mm -hmm. and a South America tour, so it's going to be really hectic. We have a lot of uh, shows coming up, so, so it's going to be fun at, at the same time. Uh, I mean, you don't want to be away from your family, but uh, we haven't toured uh, for a while, so mm -hmm. it's going to be great to be out again. Well, so at least you get to be home for all the holidays and stuff before you take yeah, off. So. <laughs> exactly. And, and enjoy that. It's not that. until next year. You can, can still push it. It's not... It's next year. <laughs> so you still got a couple of months. And next year's approaching pretty yeah. fast, you know? Mm, I know. So you're going to be I, playing... I still try to think of it. It's next year. I know. I'm the same way. I'm like, shoot, did I get everything done I was supposed to this year? You know? mm. It just went by so fast. So, yeah. you know, I was looking over some of your tour schedule for next year, and it's pretty extensive. And mm. you're going to be here in the Worcester area of Massachusetts at the New England Metal and Hardcore Fest. So hopefully we'll get to see you there. That's a huge fest. You got a lot of fests planned for next year? Yeah, we have a lot of 
of uh, things planned, uh, summer festivals and stuff. But uh, <sighs> we haven't uh, really, nothing is really settled yet. Mm -hmm. Just a couple of, of festivals. So, uh, but I, I guess it's going to be really hectic this summer as well. Well, that's okay. It'll keep you busy, keep you oh, out yeah, of trouble. I mean, <laughs> you'll be so happy really to great. come back home at the end of the year again. So it'll be, <laughs> you'll get that out yeah. of your system. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think we're gonna we we have some some plans for for this for, for next fall as well. Of oh course. my goodness! So, oh yeah, it's gonna be a hectic tour year. But uh, I'll, I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic to be out to be able to to be out on the road so much especially following a new album like that that you get to go pretty much mm. all over the world with this one so everybody gets mm. to see you live it's pretty exciting for us fans too so yeah it'll be a great tour <laughs> yeah i hope so i really hope so okay so you know there you go hammerfall new album out on napalm records built to last you can go over to napalm records to learn more about ordering all these awesome bundles and pre-order things and of course you could go to the hammerfall facebook page they keep it pretty up to date almost every day with stuff going on there to learn about tours and what's going on with the band and frederick thank you for taking the time out to do this with us here today on the metal magdalene with jet and rest up this year and all the best on that extensive touring you're doing in the new album uh thank you very much it was great great being here